Hi everyone, I wanted to send you an introduction video just outlining um, some of the housekeeping items for um, budget and finance. So the first thing, I know that budget and finance, um, for several of you, this is your first class in the program. So you may not be familiar with Canvas. UNCW switched learning, um, um, learning management platforms or systems um, last year or this year. I don't remember, but we went from Blackboard to Canvas. So um, some of us are still figuring it out. I know students' opinions vary, but it's what we're stuck with, and so we will have to work with that. But so when you log in to your Canvas account, you should see a screen like this, and this is called your dashboard. You should see a tile um, for each class that you are enrolled in. So for most of you, it would be um, EDN 501, and then a lot of you are also in EDN 521. Um, so you may only have two, two tiles. Um, these are the courses that I'm enrolled in or that I have access to. And you should also have the um, program information page. If you do not have this one, let me know and I'll add you. This is where um, I post announcements program-wide. Uh, and then there's also um, resources for the program in this um, Canvas page. But Okay, for now, so let's take a look at EDN 501 Spring 2020. So when you click that and you go in, I'm going to switch it to student view so we can see what it looks like as a student. So you'll see our home page, our, our welcome page. That is a picture of me and my two dogs. Maggie is the boxer, Luna is the black one. Um, this is just an overview and a welcome, my office number and email address. It's best to contact me through email. Um, I'm not always in the office. I may be working from home, but I always have my email up. Um, emails that I receive Monday through Thursday, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Or I'll try my best to get back to you in 24 hours. If you email me Friday afternoon or over the weekend, then I'll get back to you on Monday. So let's get started. You'll see there's a link. Um, click here to begin. Okay, so this eventually in the semester, you'll see multiple modules uh, listed out. So you'll see this you have a canvas menu bar to your left. You can see our home page, that's the page we were just looking at. Any announcements that I post for the course, uh, you can, you'll can you get an email, but then you can also click on announcements and it will take you to that page. Modules, the syllabus, um, you can see the people in the course, and then you can see your grades. So the first thing, um, just quickly walk you through things that you need to take care of. Um, this first week. Again, classes don't start until January 13th, but I've been getting a lot of emails, and so I wanted to post this, but do know um, I cannot let you have access to completing any assignments until the 13th. So when you get down to the introduction video discussion board and the syllabus quiz, um, you won't have access to those until the 13th, but they're due January 19th. So just an over, overview of what is happening in this module. Um, like I said, we're going to take care of the syllabus, reviewing email etiquette and professionalism. You'll post your introduction video and um, take the syllabus quiz. So as you're navigating through the modules, you can click this next button and it will move you to the next page. So for us right now, that's the syllabus. One thing that I want to do, I'm not going to read the syllabus, um, you all can do that in your own time, but several emails have been asking what books do you need. You do not need a book for this course. All reading uh, materials I will upload into Canvas, so no books. Okay, so make sure you read this. The calendar is included. This course will be broken down into four modules. I'm not really including 
the introduction module. Um, so I'm sorry, um, three modules. Uh, you'll see a budgeting, a finance, and then a grant writing. Um, each module has major assignments, and then you also have participation points that will be in included. So for this first week, the syllabus quiz and then your um, first discussion board, those are going to count as participation points. And so you'll see I've broken that down somewhere here. Um, so you'll see the module, uh, points that are related to the assignment, and then participation points. So now that I see um, one of these, I guess the syllabus quiz is uh, assignment points, one will be participation. Um, so you can see breakdown of the points. For those of you that are new to the graduate program, um, graduate students have to earn a C or higher in a graduate course. You can get up to, I believe it's two or three C's. I believe it's three. Um, three C's. Uh, if you get a third one or if you fail, get an F in a class, then you are dismissed from the program. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you'll see the point spread. Make sure you get a calendar and you write down dates because you all are busy because you are professionals. Uh, you, most of you have families and so you're juggling a lot and you want to make sure that you stay on top of assignments and due dates, especially because these modules are big chunks of time and you're expected to work all along and to ha you can see the due dates as they come. Um, so make sure you have this written down somewhere in your phone, what, however you use a calendar. Email etiquette, take some time and read this. And then the next one, um, just some tips on professionalism as a graduate student. Uh, take some time and check that out. There'll be a couple of questions in the quiz related to that. The, this page is for your um, video discussion board, and so I'm trying something new. Um, they keep telling us you need to be innovative with technology, so here's my stab at it. I'm going to try, and hopefully this works, um, so Canvas has a feature that's very helpful where when you are replying to a discussion board, you can do it via video. It's not something that you have to like record yourself using your phone and then upload it and then post it. It's all done in Canvas. So what you need is a computer that has a camera and so most computers do. Um, as you do, so you will post your introduction video and just address the these following headings. Um, and then once other people start posting, if you will respond to one other person's video, you can do that either text or video, but just acknowledge that you saw their video. Um, if you have not uploaded a video into Canvas, um, a Canvas discussion board, I gave you an example of myself doing one. And so once you post, I have it set up where you post your reply before you can see everyone else's, it says it right here, um, replies are only visible to those who have posted at least once reply. Um, so once you post your video, then you'll be able to see this video that's, that I put up. And I believe, like I said, um, you won't have access to do this until January 13th. Like I said, I'm not allowed to let you submit work and do work before. Um, the 13th before the classes start. The same thing with the syllabus quiz. Um, it says it's locked until January 13th. Okay, something I wanted to point out, this is very helpful going back to the calendar thing. In your Canvas page, over here you see the calendar icon. If you click on that, it will show you assignments that are due for each of your classes. So as long as the instructor has um, assignments posted, you should see it on this calendar. This can be very helpful too. So you see you have a legend over here and it says calendars. So for budget and finance, 
when you look at my calendar, they show up in green. So you see on the 19th, you have these two things due. Um, what's happened? Okay, cool. Oh, oh. No, the other ones haven't posted yet because I have not published them, but I will. When I publish them, then you'll be able to see um, the other assignments too. So I'm in the process of getting module one um, loaded, and once that's ready, it will definitely be posted on the 13th. But, um, okay, some other things to talk about. Your inbox, you can send messages. Um, you can send me messages through Canvas. You can email peers through Canvas. Um, it's up to you how you want to communicate with me, but it's over here in your inbox. If you want in your account, um, right now I'm using a test student, so you can't see it, but let's see, when I leave student view, you can see I've put my picture up and I've seen um, some of you have changed your picture. So that's just another way to uh, get to know each other. It can be kind of, um, awkward just sitting behind a computer and not really knowing who you're talking to so I'm trying to embed different ways where we'll do videos or have different ways to um, show our personality and to get to know each other. Alright let me take one more look to make sure I'm not missing anything that I want to talk about. Alright I believe that's it. Um, like I said, everything will be active January 13th, and no textbooks for the class. Everything will be on Canvas, and um, I look forward to working with you this semester.